sure everyone said this today, but the show's great, isn't it? It's great. <laughs> so good. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to begin, I wanted to ask, because sometimes when you sort of interview people about getting involved in a project, it's about sort of research and what they can get to, to know about the world they're stepping into. Is that quite hard for you both on this? Because generally speaking, the kind of criminal underworld and the gangs of London in real life don't tend to let people in so much. So how, how, how was your kind of research into, into that? side of this this city i joined the gang <laughs> is what happened you know you are talking to a bona fide london criminal mogul <laughs> and successful international actor all right well yeah <laughs> no. it scares me these days. i'm terrified it really now. scares me I these days yeah i just have to smile <laughs> <laughs> Do you, do you think, though, that being in this has made you see London differently in any way? Like, kind of just sort of like, you know, just knowing what... Because, I mean, and obviously it's a heightened show, it's a heightened version of London, but there is some truth to what sort of goes on behind the scenes. Do you think now, sort of when you walk around the streets, do you have a slightly different perspective of the city? Yeah, I just think everything is so corrupt. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Nothing is as it seems, no, you know. Nothing is as it seems. But nothing. it's also, you know, I mean, I, I would add to that, that it's also... If we we've always known, of course, we're in a big city. You know, yeah. we're in a big city. It's uh, but I, I I like the fact that this is a, of course, it's heightened and of course it's fantasy fiction, but it's also you know paying homage to the reality. And I do I think that's what fans find satisfying in amongst everything else to go. Mm -hmm. That kind of looks like the city I live in. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, Michelle, because I, I mean, obviously it's stylized, it's cinematic and entertaining, but at its core, you're dealing with, your character's dealing with grief. Yeah. Is it quite challenging sometimes to be in something that's quite, as we've mentioned the word heightened already, and, and to come at, come at it with such an intimate, quite human no, element? No, it, I mean, it, that's what you want. You know, you want mm. to be challenged constantly, yeah. you know, and you want to, you want these massive emotional challenges, you know, and to... Because it's grief is is not linear. It, um, it's it mm. twists and turns and shakes you up mm. and knocks you, throws you off course. So, and that affects your decisions as well mm. and how you react with people. Mm. And um, so these things are, you know, you have to really think about, you know, how the cause and the effects of these of. Um, that no, but I enjoy. Mm. I that's part of the thing that I relish. I was speaking to some of the other guys, and they said you kind of were getting episodes two at a time. Um, is that do, well, how, how is it as actors when you, if there's something like this where you know anyone can get killed, is it quite nerve wracking, quite exciting when you get those scripts to see what they've done with your character, where they've taken your character? Because you're so kind of powerless, aren't you, in those situations? Well, I think it's it's exciting. Yeah. You know, I mean, minor spoiler, muck spoiler, but. We we do know what the, 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 curve. the arc of, mm -hmm. of the story. It's it. What is exciting is how are they going to yeah. achieve that? Like we know sort of the big story beats and when and yeah. when. But mm -hmm. it's it's more exciting to know okay, how is this gonna. And things you know, always it, change. They don't yes. always stay the same. Exactly. You know, sometimes exactly, yeah. when, and that was certainly in season one, you yeah. know, as they were shooting things and they go, oh, that, that's interesting. Yeah. What if we try that or we change yeah. that or yeah. whatever. So, yeah. you know, yeah, you yeah. you could end up dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How does that, because I mean, you've experienced that, you know, having a bit, a bit, yeah. but a big character in a big mm -hmm. series. Getting, how, when, how does that feel from an actor's perspective to find out that a character's been... Kill because yeah. I mean that's life. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's in the books. Yeah. It's True. like you know, yeah. and I think the the best what was the the wire. You know, that's yeah. the first time I saw it, and yeah. it really affected me was on the wire, yeah. and it was like you can't do that, mm. <gasps> you know. But yeah. then you open up another world, yeah. uh, which yeah. you probably you couldn't have with that yeah. person still there. Exactly. You know, yeah. and it's the opportunities yeah. and the yeah. braveness yeah. of the writers to Absolutely. do that. Yeah. yeah, and it helps yeah. the audience as well. We know no yeah. one's safe. Yeah. It heightens the exactly. whole kind totally. of intensity. Exactly. Yeah. But I was, I was going to ask quite a good point about sort of the challenge of sharing director's duties. But I'm interested from an actor's perspective. Is it quite enjoyable having different visions and different people step in to do sort of different episodes across the series? And do, can you? I know there's a kind of linear kind of identity that exists the whole way through the series. But do you know when you're on set with a different? Filmmaker, does it feel slightly different for you guys yeah, in the series? There's always yes. different dialogues, yeah, isn't there's there? always different, yeah. you know, the the uh, the bedside manner, shall we say, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. is, is different for you know for for different people. But I must say that, um, 
you know, this season we have our first female, female director, Marcella. You know, the wonderful yeah. Marcella Said, and and something that uh, you know, when we had our initial meetings about how season two was going to mm-hmm. pan out, you know, one thing that you know Marcella said right off the bat was, "You guys are the continuity of the show." Mm-hmm. You know, I'm telling the story visually. I'm coming at it to it as a as a kind of a, a visitor, uh, as it were. But you are the continuity. So I will always, you know, I trust you. I trust that what you say, what you, you know, that mm-hmm. we will find those things together. And that's really when it comes down to it. I think that's the yeah, thing. You know, totally. when you, you know. That you can talk to them. You yeah. can have a dialogue with yeah. them. Yeah. And I mean, the first series was so well received and deservedly so. But mm. e- even though you can be in something, you can be incredibly proud of what you put out into the world. Does it always still take you by surprise when things are re- as well received yeah. and taken yeah. as they as this was? Yeah, yeah. Mm. This, this, this was a... It you know again because it happened during the pandemic. Mm-hmm. It came out during the pandemic, so the, and we weren't interacting as we normally did. I'm, I'm not a social media person at all. I don't engage with that at all. But the you know hearing from such a, 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 a disparate <laughs> broad s- spectrum of friends yeah. going wow, I never would have put that person with this show or you, you know um, yeah, and I guess we're we're still kind of uh, <laughs> coming to terms with yeah. just how big uh, the show is. Mm. Not a social media person, because you've got your crime dynasty that you're... <laughs> yeah, criminal he doesn't need social media. Exactly. Yeah. I don't have time. No. You know? <laughs> I've got roots to plot, distribution yeah. networks, you know, time for Pilates, yeah. lunches, um, you know, yeah. a bit of acting Personal on the side, shopping. Uh, personal yeah. shopping, you know, you know, a bit of theatre now yeah. and then, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep um, the machine ticking over, keep yeah. it fresh. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you so much for your time. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Bye bye, darling. See you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey!